squats, how many reps? How many reps? I, I don't oh, know. Oh, squats, many. how many reps? I don't know how many reps you should do. I don't know. Get, let me finish this game. But I want to know the reps. No, come on, come on. Oh, give me a break. How many reps do I do for pull-ups? Now, I've actually gotten this question about how many actually. reps to do tons of times. And some people ask it a bit more than others. Mm -hmm. This one. But that's okay. But the problem is, I can't actually answer. Actually, no. They're mocking me. Yeah. I say actually a lot. It's true. But I can't actually answer <laughs> that question for you. And the reason is, I don't know how many reps you should do. Because it entirely depends. What are your goals? Are you going for strength? Are you going for hypertrophy? Uh, and the other problem is, I don't know what weight you're lifting. So if I don't know what weight you're lifting and what your goals are, it's almost impossible to try to figure out what rep range you should be working in. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the different rep ranges you could be working in, and we're going to make some recommendations, especially for beginners starting out, about what might be the most efficient rep range for you to work in depending on your goals. Shall we do it? Actually, like, actually, we should. Actually? No. Alright. First up, we're going to be taking a look at a rep range that Kat's going to show us. Yep. So she's doing dumbbell rows. What rep range are you going to work in? Two to six. Okay, so Kat's going to start working in a two to six rep range, which means she's going to be using a fairly heavy weight, because she's going to want to fail in that rep range. Now, two to six may seem low, and each rep isn't even that pretty, but working in this rep range is really important for strength. She's trying to build a stronger back. So you can see not each rep is the prettiest and okay she's not amused that I said that. Not pretty? What do you mean not pretty? But it's still important. What do you mean? That was the prettiest one that I've ever seen. How yes. dare you? Okay. Let's see you do it. Look it's true not each rep is going to be pretty and you're not only going to be able to do three, four, maybe five but it's really important to still try to work in that rep range if your goal is to build strength. Okay so what rep range are you guys working out in? Uh, we're doing the 8 to 12. 8 to 12. Okay, so this is perfect for anyone who wants hypertrophy. For anyone who wants to make more muscular gains. And Ed's doing it because he wants bigger... Biceps. Yeah, and Arad is doing it because she wants a bigger... Booty. That's, yeah, both are true. So this is a really important rep range, and honestly the one that we recommend, especially for beginners or 9 to 5ers or people who don't have a lot of time or just starting to work out, this is the most efficient and effective rep range for you to probably be working out in. So the last couple sets of whatever workout you're doing, make sure you're training in this rep range. Okay, let's go take a look at one more rep range that we'll talk about here. So Christina here is doing a tricep kickback. Fantastic exercise for your triceps. I definitely recommend it. What rep range are you working in? I'm going for 15 plus. 15 plus. Now the reason she's doing that is because she doesn't actually care about adding mass to her triceps. No. So she's not concerned about working in that 8 to 12 rep range. And she doesn't want added strength all that much either. She doesn't really care about that. But what she does want right here is she's going for muscular endurance. This is going to help her be more functional. So when we're playing sports like Ultimate Frisbee, which she likes to play, her muscles will tire less easily. So remember, the concept here is failure. And this is the only time that we are all going to encourage you to fail. And you fail. Failing is a good thing. <laughs> Yay, failure. Yay, failure. Basically, if you have an 8 to 12 range you want to be failing by that last rep if you have a six to eight range and you're going to nine ten eleven and you're still feeling peachy that means that you haven't picked a weight that is strong enough for you so you need to have a heavier weight but we recommend for any and all beginners try to train in that eight to twelve hypertrophic rep range You mean the muscle building range? Actually. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. If you're one of these people who's been working in a particular rep range for a really long time, say you've been doing 8 to 12 for quite a while, and you see your gains aren't coming quite as fast, maybe switch it up a little bit. Train in the strength rep range. Try 2 to 6. Fail around rep 4 or 5. Try 15 plus. Add some variety and some mixture. 
but we'll talk about variations and all that kind of stuff in another video. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye! Bye. Bye. Remember to subscribe and like!